thrifting is gaining popularity across our country, and one group of North Alabama college students has turned their passion for it into a business. News 19's Lauren Layton tells us more. We kind of want to be the face of sustainable fashion. Justin Lindbergh is one of four Alabama A&M students who co-founded All That Vintage, an online thrift store filled with finds they've handpicked. Some even coming with backstories they've been able to track down. We take our time. I'm looking at every shirt, you know what I'm saying? I want to find, I guess, the best items, but we enjoy the find, enjoy the process. They're keeping inventory in a garage until they can save up to buy a U-Haul, something they currently rent for their pop-up stores. <laughs> But the thrill of getting business off the ground is only part of it. We knew that, uh, you know, like selling vintage t-shirts is great, but like what can we really do to push sustainable fashion? Their goal is to educate their peers and the community on how much harm mass market retail, also known as fast fashion, can cause ecologically. It takes about 460 gallons of water to create a new cotton t-shirt. And they want to show how easy it can be to go green without losing style. Their mission, even catching the attention of Arizona tea. <laughs> Snagging a partnership for their upcoming Thrift Fest at Low Mill. The festival all around sustainable fashion and just community. And so we got a lot of dope vendors that are going to be there selling everything from vintage clothing to art to jewelry, you name it. It's the first of what they hope to be many festivals where they can spread the word. And just let people know like there's so many great ways you can contribute to being sustainable, having a better environment, you know, just looking out for and stopping fast fashion than most people realize. And we're here to help people do it. In Huntsville, Lauren Layton, News 19. Sustainable fashion. Love it. Thrift Fest is happening tomorrow from noon to 5. 15 vendors are joining all that vintage at Low Mill. We've got all the information for you on our website, whnt.com.